Welcome. This video is part of the course, How to Create a Platform Like Shopify, Using WordPress and WooCommerce. You'll learn how to create a fully customized dashboard, with no programming needed. Also, you'll create a beautiful homepage, a pricing page to sell your membership plans, and a custom login page. Follow the link in the description to take the course. In the previous section, we learned how to set the coupons, orders and customers on the front end. Here, we'll learn how to set up the WordPress users and site settings on the dashboard. Let's open the dashboard site. Now create a page. Enter the page title. And enter the WP Frontend Admin shortcode, with the WordPress user's URL between the quotations. Now open the page on the front end. Once here, select the page title. The URL slug. The default page template. And the dashboard menu. You can hide any unnecessary elements to simplify the user's list. You can restrict this page to specific plans if you want. Now save the changes. Let's edit the add new user form. We can add existing users or new users. We'll delete the add existing user fields to only create new users. Now our page looks really clean. Just save changes. If you open an existing user, you can edit the user profile. You can delete the personal options like user colors. You can delete the billing information if you want. And also the shipping information, though your users may also need that information. Anyways, it's up to you what fields you want to hide. Finally save changes. As you can see, the page we just created has been added to the dashboard menu. Now it's time to set up the store settings on the front end. Create a new page for the settings and enter the WP Frontend Admin shortcode with the WooCommerce settings between the quotations. Once in the front end, select the page general info. And hide the advanced and integration options. Your users won't need them to manage the basic aspects of their stores. You could restrict this page for specific plans, but we'll leave it without restrictions. Save the changes for the store settings page. Finally, let's create the WordPress general options page to integrate it with our front-end dashboard. Enter the page title and the WP front-end admin shortcode with the general options URL. Now open the page on the front-end. Select the page basic information like title, the URL slug, template, and menu. Again, if you want, you can restrict this page for specific plans. Once you're done, save the changes. This is how our pages will look once the front-end dashboard is finished. The next video will be about how to set the pages, themes, and nav menus on the front-end dashboard.